Hi guys, we're, uh, we're at Timble Basin. Um, as you can tell, it's snowing, yay! So um, I'm waiting for uh, a bit of a break in the weather and we'll see if we can get out there and get some shots, but oh, it's actually quite nice just being in the snow for a while. And um, yeah, it's getting heavier and heavier. Anyway, this is where we are. I'm, uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to go back inside where it's nice and warm and um, as soon as I get a good chance to get a shot, I'll bring you along. I've been looking forward to getting some snow for the last, oh, well, year really, two years. Um, yeah, I just love being in this extreme weather and try and get a photo that is different. <laughs> Uh, but it's more being out and enjoying the elements. Um, it's harder to to get a photo in these sort of conditions, but that's not. I love it. All right. Pretty simple track today. I'll see if I can flick you around. So this uh, looks out to Devil's Punch Pool. It's a huge waterfall, so um, we'll see what we can see there. This is the track. I'll probably turn the camera off soon because I'll start puffing. <laughs> Well, it's quite a well-formed track. Safety first. <laughs> Got these little streams all the way through here. There's a, a really big one <clears throat> that kind of comes bellowing out. It's, uh, it's a great waterfall, but it's really hard to photograph. I've looked at it for years, <clears throat> wondering how to photograph it. Might um, have a look at that today. I've noticed they've done some road works down the road and it um, looks like it's easier to get down to the riverbed now so I um, might give that a go Gorgeous through here. What I'm also looking for is a, a shot with the path with trees on either side and just that inviting feel to walk down it. I've seen some that are close, but not quite what I'm after. I can hear a stream. I love these little streams.
Might clamber up there on the way back and have a quick look, see what I can see. I'll keep my clothes as dry as possible until I'm ready to go back home to the motorhome. Yeah, since it stopped snowing, and now we've got rain. Lots of steps. And the trouble with going downstairs is you got to come back up them. Definitely no good for mountain biking. Have a look at this business. I think somehow there's a shot in there. I might spend about half an hour looking for a composition and doing some shots. Might climb down into the river. Is the access down there? Could be good. I think this is the uh, the river that goes to that waterfall I was talking about before, and I think it's not too far down that way. But um, yeah, it's very hard to photograph a waterfall from the side, so I won't bother with that. Cool, right, I'm going to set up, take some shots, is any good, you'll see them after this. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> we just take a photo and uh, keep some coming up with the error problems on the camera. Looks like I've got a bit of water into it with all this rain and it's fogged up <laughs> and uh, I haven't got a lens cloth with me so uh, I'm walking out of the snow line now and into the um, <laughs> rain line so I must admit I'm pretty soaked so I'm going to call it quits I'm going to the devil's punch bomb I don't think I'm going to get 
uh, any better shots. I was really wanting the snow around it, but I don't think there is. So I'll save that for another trip. I might do a bit more research on this uh, track as to what side it comes out on the Devil's Punch Bowl. I got a feeling it hooks up with the other walkway that goes up to Devil's Punch Bowl, which uh, is a bit easier to get to. Um, so I might as well head back to the motorhome. I uh, change your clothes, get warm, dry the camera out uh, and get the other camera out uh, and go to another location. I'm waiting for it to start raining. There was a patch before a blue sky so it should clear up and what I'll do is um, put the drone up if we get a patch of clear sky and uh, see what we get with that so um, here's this river again I think I will explore this river but on another day when it's not raining I like um, exploring rivers on overcast days so I don't get that patchy sunlight coming through I have had some nice shots with patchy sunlight but it's really hard to work with but I think that top of that waterfall up there I think it could be interesting to have a look at what's going on there so um, we'll leave that for another day right I'll put you away because I'm gonna start puffing Ooh, that's a big hill big mountain it's on the road uh, yeah, wet. Actually, it's snowing here at the moment. But uh, it was a good call to abandon carrying on. My jacket is <laughs> not waterproof, um, it's soaked all the way through. My jersey soaked all the way through. Uh, I think I've added quite a few kgs of water, <laughs> and uh, my trousers are soaked. Yep, not a very well prepared expedition, but uh, I'll get in there and all the, uh, I left the heater on so, in fact whenever I take it out I never turn it off, it just stays on full time. This is looking onto Broken Hill Range, flew up the side of the hillside spun around and took a photo of Broken Hill. Hey, uh, thanks for being on this journey with me and hope you subscribe and watch out for further ones and um, we'll see you on the next one.